No telling who invented the kettlebell, but... It was Pavel. <laughs> Pavel. <laughs> Are you a kettlebell beginner and you're looking for a great place to start? I got something for you. Check the first link in the description. It leads to our free kettlebell workout course that will serve you 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts. Click the link, sign up, and enjoy. <laughs> Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. As I was doing my research on kettlebells, I have found that Mark Repto from Starting Strength said something about our beloved kettlebell once again. Before we jump into the reaction and listen to what Mark says, and before I give you my comments on it, there's one thing that I want you to know. Now, Mark Repto from Starting Strength, when he says something, I want to listen. I've learned a lot thanks to his book, Basic barbell training and I consider him an expert. Whether I agree to what he says or not, I don't care. Whether he mocks kettlebells or not, I don't care because I'm not emotionally attaching myself to a training equipment. I love kettlebells. I think they're awesome. I think they serve you a lot of value and many people agree on that fact. But if Mark doesn't like them, it is what it is. Nevertheless, if an expert who's an intelligent person as well says something, I want to listen and then when the kettlebell video comes out then we'll, we'll be set we'll be set for another two years cool. yeah yeah we've got to think about that kettlebell video yeah that's got the potential to be thoroughly hated yeah this really excites some people i mean the people that have spent what five thousand dollars on a kettlebell cert yeah they will hate us you do have a lot of kettlebells i do yeah there's how many are there over there 12 four or five i commented on the video i said like hey at least you own kettlebells we don't own equipment that we don't believe in, <laughs> but he uses them for door stops, which, yeah, he made a video about it, which I think is funny. We use them as tripods. Too. Yeah, I put my phone up on it. Yeah. Do you? Mm -hmm. Putting your phone up on a kettlebell? How do you do that? So that's, we're just letting you know that the kettlebell uh, video it won't be a podcast on kettlebells because that would be pointless. Right. Uh, the kettlebell video will be coming up. And I think it is important for me as a coach to listen to everybody. I do not care whether they hate the modality that I use or whether they share the same opinion or not. Being open-minded is something that has really accelerated my career and my ability and skills as a coach. So I don't plan on stopping that anytime soon. Would kettlebells exist Both today legs. without CrossFit? I never heard of kettlebell until CrossFit. CrossFit resurrected them. Yeah. RKC and Pavel back in the 2000s resurrected kettlebells and then CrossFit took it to another level. And both of them, they were most definitely responsible for resurrecting the idea of kettlebell training. The kettlebell was the Russian, the cannonballs, and they didn't have equipment, so they took cannonballs and swung them around yeah. or some shit. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, the, origin, the origin story. Right. Pirates right. used them. Pirates. <laughs> Pirates used them, which would be awesome, right? To have an origin story like, hey, uh, let's use cannonballs, put a handle on it, and then do some swings on a pirate ship. <laughs> that sounds cool. The kettlebell goes way back, beginning of the... 20th century and this is where you have uh, the Tornvater and his name was Friedrich Ludwig Jan. Then you had Theodor Siebert who was another, the father of athletics or gymnastics they called him. Hans Steirer who was a legend from Munich who was doing feats of strength with kettlebells. Krajewski and Uncle Vanya, Ivan Lebedev. All these folks visit Europe and then they discovered kettlebells and then you have had Pitla. He developed the long cycle as far as I'm concerned and jerks and presses and clean and press with cans because of the displaced weights and then they were using kettlebells Ivan Lebedev was then responsible for pushing it and even if you go further back than Hans Steirer or Friedrich Ludwig Jan or Theodor Siebert you had Felice Napoli one of the first Italian strongmen Professor Attila Eugene Sandow or Georg Hackenschmidt heavyweights who were also using kettlebells. No telling who invented the kettlebell, but... It was Pavel. <laughs> Pavel. <laughs> Watch this body language. <laughs> body Maybe language. The kettlebell, but... It was Pavel. <laughs> Pavel. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can tell what he thinks about Pavel, even though he doesn't mention him, but I really look forward to this kettlebell video. And sometimes I get flack for it. Yeah, you always mention Pavel in your title to get views and clicks, but hey, he was responsible to bring it back to the map in the early 2000s because it got lost along the way and he brought it back. So I have observed a couple of things in this video, but before I share them, I want to make sure that I want your opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you think right now. Number one, I think Mark is a classic case of an inorexable 
person. I don't think Mark can be convinced to do or think otherwise. And to a certain degree, this seems like a politician. Politicians rarely revert a course or do something different or they apologize because then they will be considered weak in their tribe or even to the public. The next thing I see is even though this seems like some kind of a guru cage fight, I think Mark and Pavel have something in common. Now you can observe from watching the video and listening to what Mark's constituency is saying that they hate kettlebells as well. So they just do what they have been told. Pavel has a similar effect on his tribe. The next thing that I see is emotional attachment to a person or a coach behind the philosophy. Many people will get riled up by Mark's opinion. Like he said, there's gonna be a lot of hate coming their way and they bet on it because they bank on it. This creates drama, which means this creates views, likes, shares and money. At the end of the day, I could care less because I don't have a dog in this fight. Whether Pavel or Mark like or hate each other, I don't really care. The final point is it confirms yet again that there's a nuance between being open-minded and staying firm in your belief. At the end of the day, they're not mutually exclusive. Now, while you can't pinpoint the moment when the market weight was used as a kettlebell, you can still trace the origin story back to these guys that I've mentioned and it's very interesting if you want to watch more about kettlebell history I made a video about it where I took a deep dive where I got information from my friend Geronimo Milo who has shared his research with me so you have to check it out if you're interested thank you for watching if you like the video like it consider subscribing and don't forget to comment are you a kettlebell beginner and you're looking for a great place to start? I got something for you. Check the first link in the description. It leads to our free kettlebell workout course that will serve you 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts. Click the link, sign up and enjoy.